So, Alex Redding on behalf of Leapfrog Fight TV, I'm here with Clayton Peters, new champion. Yeah. How's it feel? No, it's all right, but like I say, I'm not happy with the win, but a win's a win. Yeah, not, not quite the... Like the I say, I don't know if it was off the punch what I gave him the same time, he was moaning about his arm or his shoulder or whatever when he went to the floor, but we both threw a right shot at the same time. That's why I asked the ref to see what he see because he's closer up. Obviously, like I say, I don't mind. I, I sorted this fight for him because we were supposed to fight in uh, 11th of November on Bad to the Bone. It was going to be four us gloves. I was trying to get him to do bare knuckle. He wouldn't do it. I pulled out because obviously I had a bad chest infection, like really bad. I had it for like two and a half months. Went to the hospital for obviously I had like lung, lung disease or asthma or something. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I had to pull out of that. But then he messaged me, he's a sad guy. Like I said, I don't know him, do you know what I mean? I don't know him from Adam. But he messaged me in December, I said, oh, you all right, how's your health and that? I said, I'm on the men's now. He said, it's a shame that we didn't get the fight on. Um, he said, will you fight in January? I said, I'm looking to try and get another fight. But I will honour you that thing, because I'm a man of my word, and I don't like that, because obviously I've had people put, pull out on me like last minute. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's not nice when you've been training. Mm. It sort of pulls out and you're the opponent change, or you might not even get an opponent. So uh, I said to him, yeah, once the opportunity comes up and I can get you on the show, obviously I'll give you, give you a shot. So obviously this, I do Josh, obviously I live local and that. Um, I knew the show was coming up. So I dropped him a message because obviously I got him on message, not actually on Facebook. I just said, I've got a show, such and such, promotion, blah, blah, blah. Are you up for it? He said, yeah. Obviously, I, I obviously have my mind on my word, innit? Do you know what I mean? So that's why this fight's happened. He was moaning and saying, oh, once it's been stopped saying, go on another three rounds, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go no rounds. That's, that's me, I'm not being big because I'm not the most skilled boxer or anything like that. But I've got heart of a lion like that. Like I say, I can bang. I can take, I can take punches like that. You have to put me to sleep. The only way you're winning me is if it goes to points, if I don't box too well, do you know what I mean? If I win on points, or if the ref stops it, that's out of my control, but I'll just keep going. You have to knock me out, do you know what I mean? And I just think that's a gift anyway, that, do you know what I mean? I've got a big heart. Definitely. I'll jump in there with anyone, even if I know that they're a better school boxer. They've had 50 fights, I've had one, let's just say. Obviously, I'll still jump in there, but like I say, I'm trying to concentrate on my bare knuckle now because... It's how you feel best suited. Yeah, yeah, I just love it. It's more brutal, do you know what I mean? And it's a flip of the coin sometimes, like I say. I've seen it so many times now. We had Brawler, he's probably had a few brawls on the street. He's against someone who's like a boxing background. The Brawler's caught him in that one shot. That's all it takes, don't it? Especially in bare knuckle, like I say, it's bone on bone. A little jab in bare knuckle will split your face. When you've got gloves on, you can still split your face in these four Oz Pro MMA gloves, but bare knuckle's totally different to having big pillars on your fist, you know what I mean? It's a real, real definition of a fighter. Right? Yeah, it's. it's not really skill, like I say, but it shows you that warrior, do you know what I mean? Mm. You've got to have heart. Like my last bare knuckle against Tommy, tough lad, and uh, we went the five rounds. He boxed beautiful. I didn't really turn up on that day. Like I didn't shut, I didn't close down the distance, I didn't smother him, which I shouldn't have done. He boxed, he boxed tighter. Um, but like I say, I did the rounds with him, like I say, and uh, a lot of lads on the show and that, was getting stopped with a jab. Yeah. Or get a little caught, see a bit of blood. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They they, they, yeah, yeah, they ain't got that art to carry on, do you know what I mean? So, oh. where, do you, where do you think that comes from with you? I just believe you're born with it. Like I say, heart wise, like, oh, you, you, you can't, you can't, um, you can't be trained that by the, the best like trainer in the world. You're born with that, do you know what I mean? That's like a little gift. That's what I believe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, put me down, if you don't put me to yeah. sleep, I'll get back up, no matter if I'm blowing up my arse, you know what I mean? That's, that's how I love it, do you know what I mean? Even when I've had losses and I've had my face smashed up, like, my last bare knuckle, I made it his, his toughest fight. He went to points, he won. Boxman, ring craft was bang on, do you know what I mean? I'm sorry about my nose, I'm trying to talk and it's, no, no, it's can't fine, breathe it's through my nose, but, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I mean, on that point, if it was a if it was a fight to death hypothetically, oh yeah, he was injured. Even you know, oh yeah, he would carry on. Know, he's worried. Like I say, he, he, he fights every weekend normally. It's a bit of a journey, but he's been in the game a lot longer than me. I don't know how many fights he's had, but some might research what I've seen. Obviously, is uh, 
his fights on YouTube from like 16 years ago. He's not new to this. I'm new to it. I'm a brawler more than anything, like I say it more. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't really yeah. know what to say. Like, I'm trying to breathe and I'm losing his feeling. Like, I'm trying to concentrate and breathe. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess, yeah. are, you, are, you, are you fighting soon? Is there something we're going to see you yeah, soon? To be, yeah, to be honest, we are. Because I've got into the bare knuckle and that, I've just been asked to go to Ukraine where the war is. Like, oh, obviously, on the capital, where the yeah. war's not actually there, is it? It's in the country, but it's not actually going off in the capital. Mm. But it's still. I know a lad based Andy Welsh and uh, Sam lately from Olympus in Rotherham, bare knuckle platform. They went over, tough lads, proper top lads, you know what I mean? Good promotion as well. And uh, Sam went over to corner, Andy. Andy had a tough fight. They're all like different breeds over there, proper champions, you know what I mean? Obviously, had Andy had a good fight, lost that. Um, Sam, Sam got off in a fight. He, 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 he obviously won't turn down the challenge, you know what I mean? He got stuck in there, we were in there. Ukraine's one of their, their best like champions, do you know what I mean? He had it there, obviously lost like that, but both tough lads and it takes art and balls, you know what I mean, to do that, especially going to a country like that, yeah, yeah. where there's active, yeah, uh, active war, active war yeah. do you know what I mean? But, so yeah, I've been offered that, fights to be played, I can't get words out, flights, hotel, travel fee, uh, food, all that, that's all to be paid for, and then I get a grand. But I'm not doing it for the money. And like I say, you might you might think it's mad me going over there for a grand, but it's more the experience, like, like I say, that's what, what you can tell the grandkids, can't you, do you know what I mean? Uh, international so, fighters. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it gets my name out there more now. That'll be, that'll be my toughest fight. They're different breeds, they are. Do you know what I mean? So you want to challenge yourself? Yeah, challenge myself. Like, I always challenge myself, do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, like I say, I'll get in there with anyone, even if I know that they're a better skilled boxer, they've had 50 fights, I'll still get in there, I love it. Believe in yourself. Yeah, I believe, believe in myself. You've got, you got to believe, haven't you, do you know what I mean? But anything can happen in a fight, especially when it's bare knuckles. You can be stopped with a little, just a little jab, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And like I say, yeah, I love it anyway, do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's going to be my biggest, biggest fight going to Ukraine. Nice. 100%. Very exciting. Me, me, me fucking, my mother's not happy with it. Like, <laughs> 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 but, yeah. So she, know that, she, she knows now, right? Yeah, she knows. Like I say, I'm a man and I'm 32 years old, so end of the day, I'm 32, but to her, I'm still a little baby, aren't I? Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'll talk for more yeah. than that. But honestly, I'll try to breathe it up my nose. Just nah, that's right. Are you, yeah. you celebrating at all this evening? Yeah, yeah. I'll have a few drinks. Like I said, I'm always training and that. So what I normally do, obviously, I trade. I have a fight. After that, I'll have like five days, depending on how close to another fights in line. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes we'll just have a couple of days of just binging out, eating crap, having sugary stuff, sweets chocolate you know what I mean and then as soon as I've had a couple of days like that then I'll jump on it back to being strict straight back in the training you know what I mean just give that body a little bit of a rest and just a little treat in it do you know what I mean eating the shit like so yeah perfect before we go have you got anyone you know that you want to shout out anything that's important to you sponsors anything like that not really obviously I've got my sponsors Nature's Nourishments I look on Facebook or the website, which obviously does like supplements of like uh, CMOS recovery drink, which has got creatine in it, all in it. You know what CMOS is, yeah, it, yeah. It's got all, like, it's got like, it's got about 92 minerals, what the body needs, and your body needs like 102. And then there's this oil, I can't pronounce the name, more. It's really powerful for the body, mm. and it's good for healing as well. Mm. Like, um, then obviously, I've got Top Dog uh, Protection Security. Obviously, that's one of the uh, good uh, thing of day one uh, sponsors. And then, obviously, Brits and Sons construction and uh, building. So, and a shout out to everyone who come to support me and brought the, brought the tickets out there, ordered cash, you know what I mean? And obviously, big well done to Josh in it for pulling off another good show. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I appreciate you obviously doing the interview that's as well. Right. Like I say, Good for you, good for the yeah. show, but good for the fighters as well, don't it? So, to, get them out, to get the name out there and that, so. Perfect. Yeah. And with that, it's been Clayton yeah, Peters. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Mark. Alex Rennie on behalf of Leapfrog Fight TV, sponsored by Box Combat Sports Network, Fight Supplies, Athlon Rub, and Box Combat Sports Network again. See you on the next one. Mate, it's just going to, it's going to you now. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think it's. Yeah, I